coming up. What's on your mind? Hello, my name is Bronson. I'm almost eight years old. I would like to know why all our fingerprints are all different. We'll answer that question and more. Then Polar Plunge, everything you need to know about these impressive mammals. Also ahead, we'll introduce you to these mountain lion cubs who are on the road to recovery thanks to the Oakland Zoo. Plus, best game ever, how one eight-year-old with a homemade sign got a chance to see Taylor Swift. It was like, Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and snow day. <laughs> Grab your sled. We're going for a ride. This is NBC Nightly News Kids Edition. Welcome back to Nightly News Kids Edition. I'm Lester Holt. It is great to be with you. Hope you're all having a great week. We have a terrific lineup ahead, including our picture of the week. Plus, calling all you Barbie fans. Some big news in the entertainment world this week that has some moviegoers a bit disappointed. We'll explain what that's all about. But first, let's begin with a few stories making headlines this week. Remember, we told you last week about the primaries and caucuses. Well, this week, the New Hampshire primary was held. Former President Donald Trump a scored a pretty big win state. in the Republican New Hampshire you know, primary, there. inching closer to clinching the Republican nomination. Nikki Haley, the only other Republican candidate in the race, finished 11 points behind, but says she will stay in the race. Meantime, heavy rain drenched the San Diego, California area earlier this week, leading to flash flooding in some areas. Did you know that flash flooding is caused by heavy or excessive rainfall in a short amount of time, generally less than six hours? Residents continue to clean up after this powerful storm. All right, now for what's on your mind. This week, one young viewer is wondering about something every one of us is born with, but no two are alike. Let's get details from our pal, Dr. John Torres. Hello, my name is Bronson. I'm almost eight years old. I would like to know why all our fingerprints are all different. You know, that's a fantastic question. And it turns out everyone's fingerprints around the world are completely different. As a matter of fact, your fingerprints from one hand are different than your fingerprints on your other hand. And here's why. Fingerprints develop before we're born, while we are growing inside our mother's womb. And they come about because of genetics. The genes we get from our parents, they got from their parents and that are then passed down to us. Along with genetics, fingerprints also get their unique pattern from the environment and hormones inside a mother's womb and can even change from pressing against your own body while you're developing and growing before you're born. There are three main types of fingerprint patterns, loops, whorls, and arches, along with a few other variations. So why do we even have fingerprints in the first place? Well, the truth is, scientists still really don't know. We used to think it was to help us get a grip on things so they don't drop. But after a lot of research, it turns out that fingerprints are too small to help us hold on to anything. Now, the leading theory is that fingerprints might help us with sensitivity, so we can tell the difference between things just by touch. What we do know is that everyone's fingerprint is completely unique to them, even identical twins. That's why we can use fingerprints to open a cell phone or computer and why police use fingerprints to identify people and even solve crimes. And if you want to look at your own fingerprint patterns, you can do so at home. You know, fingerprints are so small, you're going to need help looking at them. And there's a couple things you can do. One, you can grab a magnifying glass and look at your own finger and see the fingerprint there. But that's a little hard because it's the same color as your skin because it is part of your skin. And so it's a bit hard to differentiate. So the other thing you can do is take your own fingerprint at home. You'll just need an oil pastel crayon, a piece of paper, and a magnifying glass, or a camera phone. The other thing I like to do is this is a simple oil pastel crayon, and I take this, and I'm just gonna mark my finger right here. And so I'm just gonna put a bunch of this pastel paint on my finger, and just keep marking it. And then what I'm gonna do is take this piece of paper, press against it really hard, leave it there for a couple seconds, and boom, there's my fingerprint. It might be a little hard to see, but my fingerprint's right there. And then I can take a magnifying glass and look at my fingerprint. It's still not as big as I'd like it to be. So the other thing you could do is you can borrow your parent's phone. It has a camera on it. Take a picture of that fingerprint. 
And when you zoom in on that fingerprint, you can study your own one-of-a-kind pattern and compare it to your family and friends. Dr. John Torres, thanks very much for that explanation. Meantime, here in North America, many animals, including some bears, hibernate during the long, cold winter. But there's one bear species that actually thrives in the cold, the polar bear. Our friend Aaron McLaughlin takes a look at these impressive mammals. They are giants living on the ice-covered waters of the Arctic. Polar bears are among the world's most magnificent creatures, massive in size and able to survive in super cold temperatures in places like Canada and Alaska. Polar bears are just the most awesome animal. Polar bears are one of the largest carnivores. They're bigger than tigers, they're bigger than lions. Uh, they are the largest terrestrial carnivore and so they're really impressive. Tim Sullivan works at the Brookfield Zoo near Chicago, home to Hudson, a male polar bear. Hudson loves to play here at the zoo. We provide him with lots of environmental enrichment to keep him busy. Male polar bears like Hudson can weigh up to 1,500 pounds and grow to about 10 feet when they stand on their rear legs. So imagine you're standing by a basketball hoop. Our male polar bear can reach that rim just by standing on his rear legs. Female polar bears are about half the size of male bears, weighing up to 800 pounds. And you know that white fur? Guess what? It's not really white. It's actually clear. They have a very thick coat, two different layers, that undercoat, which is very thick and dense, and then there are guard hairs that are longer, that are actually hollow, and that helps protect them. And that's what keeps them warm when they're walking around in the ice. Polar bears are also excellent swimmers. They're considered marine mammals because they spend a big part of their lives in the water. When they're on the land, they have this kind of big lumbering gait. They look massive and, and kind of uh, powerful, but when you see them in the water, uh, they are super graceful and they kind of swim like a dog. They just kind of do the dog paddle. The rear legs hang behind and act like a rudder as they swim through the water. And they can swim for hours upon hours, even days, to get from one ice floe to the next. Polar bears mainly eat meat and they hunt for prey on sea ice. But because of climate change, that ice is starting to melt. When it gets warm, because of climate change, it's harder on the bears, and so they have a harder time finding their food and, and living. There are some things, though, that we all can do to help. Just turning down their thermostat one degree, even if it's only at night, that's going to help polar bears. Instead of driving your car to someplace close, walk or ride a bike. Uh, those types of things will really help uh, both save money for you and your family, but also it'll help polar bears by reducing the, the things that affect our climate and make it harder on polar bears small steps to help protect these big, awesome bears. Aaron, thanks very much for that. Okay, time for our picture of the week. I want you to meet eight-year-old Ella Piazza. She was at the Kansas City Chiefs Buffalo Bills football game on Sunday with her mom rooting on the Bills and also hoping to see megastar Taylor Swift. The little Swifty even had a homemade sign reading Buffalo Bills plus Taylor Swift, best first game ever. Well, guess what? Ella's wish came true. Get this. While Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kelsey was playing in the game, his brother Jason was having a good time in the stands and noticed Ella. So Jason lifted up Ella with her homemade sign to show it to his brother's girlfriend, Taylor Swift, giving Ella the chance to see Taylor in person and up close. The moment, as they say, went viral, and Ella had this to say about all the excitement on the Today Show. Jason um, went out of the suite, um, also got the no girl next to us, and then um, came, came over here, and then he picked me up, and then I saw Taylor. What was it like <laughs> when you saw Taylor in real life? It was like, Amazing. <laughs> so good. Did you think you were going to see her? Um, yeah. I heard, Ella, that actually last week you told all your friends, I'm going to meet Taylor yeah. Swift at the game. Yeah. You knew. Yeah. Why what? did you think that? Because um, I was thinking positive, but some of my friends weren't that positive. 
Ella, that's awesome. Talk about the power of positive thinking, right? You gotta love it. And speaking of the entertainment world, Barbie the movie received eight Oscar nominations this week, including a nomination for Best Picture. Actor Ryan Gosling, who played Ken, was also nominated for Best Supporting Actor, along with actress America Ferreira for Supporting Actress. Unfortunately, actress Margot Robbie, who played Barbie in the film, did not receive a nomination. Neither did the movie's director, Greta Gerwig. Now, some fans and movie critics are upset that neither Robbie or Gerwig were recognized. The Academy Awards, by the way, are scheduled to take place in March. Now to a story about survival and compassion and two mountain lion cubs who have captured the hearts of America. Let's get details from our good friend, Kristen Dahlgren. Two mountain lion cubs were rescued recently by the Oakland Zoo after their mom was hit by a car. She was a nursing mom when she was hit by a car. So they started looking for cubs to see if there were some cubs in need in the area. Thanks to the help of the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, the cubs were saved from a really scary situation. Working with the people who live in the area, some really helpful homeowners, they found little Maple and Willow. Maple and Willow went through a full veterinary assessment. Sadly, the cubs were dehydrated and malnourished, but now they're bouncing back under the care of the Oakland Zoo. They're gaining weight every day. They're eating all of their six meals every day. They're playful. They're acting less shy. The less shy they are, the more they eat, the more comfortable they are. So to see them pretty comfortable really bodes well for their overall health and their recovery, both emotionally and physically from this. And they're starting to develop their own unique personalities. Willow is kind of got the spicier character of the two, but both of them are really curious, really engaging, really playful, and they're just beautiful. You know, they still have their blue eyes because they're so young. They're covered with spots because they're so young. Did you know mountain lions can reach speeds of up to 50 miles per hour and can jump really high? They also live in just about every ecosystem throughout North and South America. But guess what? Unlike other big cats, mountain lions can't roar. Instead, they growl, hiss, and purr to communicate, just like house cats. Unfortunately, these big cats need space to roam, and their habitats have shrunk, putting the wildcat population at risk. Luckily, there are some ways to help with conservation. For us to coexist with all this wonderful, important wildlife, we need wildlife underpasses for under our freeways, corridors for them to move and live their lives um, so that they don't die in this tragic manner. So I think it's a time when we can activate, educate, do things to change how we coexist with these guys so that they aren't critically endangered. Bridging the gap between people and wildlife and lending a hand to this endangered species. They're so charismatic. They're quite important, but also I think they really are ambassadors for an important story. Like, how do we coexist with our wildlife, even when it's inconvenient, and the biodiversity in our area and actively work towards that. Kristen, thanks very much. Finally, the recent snowstorms forced some school districts to close, giving kids the news they were hoping for, a snow day. Our friend Charlie Keegan has more from Kansas City, Missouri. They love it. He's been saying it's hot. The cold snow was no match for hundreds of children excited to be home from school. Don't even mention that six-letter word. Oh, no, we don't even think about me. Lucy's dad enjoys snow days Ready? just as much as she does. I am in. I mean, I'm a teacher, so it's kind of great. So I get off work, too. So I'm, I'm just as excited as the kids are. Lots of parents grab their boots. Ready? Set. And push their kids down the slope. Despite any crashes this snow day threw in their routine. We're not a stay at home on a snow day type of family. We, we pretty much first off get in the car and start going. <laughs> Actually, we love it. So we geared up. We've been watching the news all week. We got hot chocolate ready. We're going to make tomato soup. So we have a whole snow day planned. Um, just, we just got to keep them busy. Yeah! 
busy but smiling, even if this day is more of a unicorn. What happened to you? What fun. Well, that's going to do it for us parents. Just a reminder, if your child has a question about any topic in the news, email a video to us at nightlynewskids at nbcuni.com and we'll try to answer them in an upcoming episode. You can also follow us on Instagram at nightlykids. And just a program note, you can catch a new episode of Nightly News Kids Edition this Saturday on NBC. Check your local listings for the time in your area. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to take care of yourself and each other. So long. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.